Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess AHLC, and here's a little vlog for you guys on this lovely Monday. Hope everybody's doing well today. Hope uh, work isn't kicking you down or uh, school. Well, actually, I think everyone, most people are out, out of school now, unless you're doing summer school, I'd say. So enjoy your vacation. Have a little fun. Um, hope your channels are doing well. Hope whatever it is that you're doing, be it your artwork, your videos, your... I don't know what you're doing, but I hope you're doing it with a lot of passion and a lot of love and hope that things aren't kicking you too far down because life is not always the nicest. But I want to say another special thank you to uh, everyone who attended the live stream last night. Uh, unfortunately, YouTube gaming was still very laggy, unfortunately, but we still got fairly far in the genocide route of, uh, of Undertale. We managed to get up to Undyne. I have yet to beat her, but hopefully we'll get to her in due time. I'm currently in the middle of actually editing the um, the recording I did of the stream, so that'll be up today. That'll probably be the only other video that'll be up today because on top of, you know, taking forever to edit it, partially because my editing software keeps crashing every few edits, but also, I have to take my cat Dusty to the vet today. Unfortunately, she's got another UTI, and she's going to need a shot. So, things are going to be a little delayed, and this will this vlog and the edited stream will be the only things that will be up today. We'll be back to the regular two-day schedule tomorrow. But before I sign off, I figured I'd want to talk about a few little things that happened in the chat yesterday. I mean, it's nothing major or terrible but a little little bit of negativity kind of entered in there and I kind of wanted to address it before like a any other problems kind of arose and because this was probably it I'm hoping it was just a one-time thing but I just figured I should uh, talk about a few little instances in the chat just to make sure that you know in case this happens again we kind of have an idea of what to do because Let's try to, we, we try to keep a little bit more of a positive attitude on this channel, and I don't want to drag anything terribly down or start any drama or anything. So, uh, first off, there was a little bit of sort of infighting, I'd say, in the, in the chat yesterday. Like, uh, someone was, uh, I'm fairly certain they were just joking around, but uh, their words were coming off as very antagonistic, particularly because originally they started joking around saying that I wasn't a true gamer. And quite frankly, uh, I'm used to bullying as a kid. Uh, I kind of brush all this stuff off now. Like, you know, it takes a lot to get me offended these days, especially, you know, online where it's like you could just easily block, report, move on. You don't have to worry about that kind of stuff, but a few people saw that uh, I was getting some, what they perceived as some trolling uh, towards me, and they got offended on my behalf and started fighting with this person. And then they started picking up on the fact that uh, these other people were upset over what uh, they were. this person was saying about me, and they started picking on them, which made... The, everyone in the chat a lot more angry and I had to pause the game a bit and put this this person in time out and I hate to have to do that like I, I don't want to ever have to do that to someone because I, it just doesn't feel right especially considering I have a feeling that this person was not outright trying to be mean they were just joking around but it is important to note that sometimes words can be interpreted a certain way like, you have to be semi-mindful of what you say, because you never know who is going to be offended. I'm not saying censor yourself, but just be a little bit more mindful of what it is that you're going to say. But also to the people who got upset by this person, I mainly they started picking on you. And this wasn't just one person, it was multiple people who were upset by this. The reason they were picking on you was because they saw you were getting upset because you got offended on my behalf. Well, I appreciate the fact that you wanted to defend me against this. In reality, it was an unnecessary thing. And because they saw you upset, that gave them 
more of a reason to go after you and get you more angry. See, that's the thing about uh, those kind of things. If you show a bit of weakness like that, you're an easier target. The important thing to note is, you no, know, you don't have to defend me. I appreciate that you want to defend me, but it, it's really not necessary. I can, I'm a big girl. I can, I can take care of myself, and I appreciate the support. I appreciate everybody who supports me on this channel. Trust me, but it isn't necessary. And you know, just think of, uh, well, how do I say this? Because this also kind of goes into another little thing that was happening in the chat where uh, another YouTuber that uh, some people in the chat were watching alongside me, they got banned because that YouTuber didn't like a few, like being criticized or what have you. Like someone was being a little oversensitive. And, you know, what that YouTuber did was wrong. Like... You really have to have a thick skin, especially online, especially if you do YouTube. You can't just let a bunch of people tear you down over some words. You have to be mindful of your words, yes. But also don't let people who really would rather just go out of their way to hurt you, don't let them hurt you. But particularly this particular instance with this other YouTuber, they were insisting on spamming their chat to try and force them to unban them and that that's not a way to to deal with things like spamming if, if anything it will just annoy them further and make you even less likely to get unbanned see that's the thing you have to think about this stuff like i understand getting upset and angry especially if you respect this youtuber greatly and they just you know smash on your dreams like that the unfortunate thing is, this is not a good way to deal with things if your first instinct is to spam them and annoy them and hoping that that's going to fix things. Because the unfortunate thing about, well, life as well as the internet, there's going to be negative people who are going to try and tear you down. And like I said, this kind of goes into the whole thing with the previous, uh, well, semi antagonistic um, a person in the chat negative people are always going to try and tear you down they're going to try and find weakness and exploit it to make you upset to let your guard down and to hurt you and unfortunately the best way to deal with that is to not give them attention the best thing you can do when you have somebody negative in your life be it online, real life, what have you, sometimes your best option is to just walk away. You know, water off a duck's back. Just step away from them because you don't need that negativity in your life. Focus on the positives. Focus on people who genuinely care about you, who want to see you succeed. Focus on good things. Don't let people who clearly don't want you in their life ruin your life as it were i know a bit rambly and a bit unusual in saying so i don't normally get very um the philosophical on this but i felt like it was necessary to mention focus on the good focus on the positive if someone is genuinely trying to hurt you walk away like if they're harassing you online just block report move on you don't need people like that and the more attention you draw to them, the more they're going to hurt you. So just remember that uh, when you're dealing with bullies, when you're dealing with trolls, with any kind of problem, be it even a YouTuber who clearly doesn't care very much about his or her fans. And you're going to do a lot better in life, trust me. So otherwise, I hope everyone is doing well. Hope some of this rambling, philosophical BS that I've been spewing, hopefully it has a little bit of meaning in this. Uh, I'll be working again on the Undertale stream. Hopefully that'll be up uh, in due time sometime today. It is over four hours long, and I have a lot of stuff to edit through. And I also have the cat to take care of, but it will be done, so don't you worry. 
But for now, this is Star Princess HLC saying thank you very much for watching and have a fun farewell. And thank you again for everybody who attended the stream who has been supporting this entire channel from liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos around. You guys are the real shining stars in this whole scenario. Thank you very much. Bye-bye! <laughs>